there's definitely criticisms to it, but like, but I, I if you think, don't think about it, it's fun. But I think like every me- form, of, there's like name a perfect like media thing mm-hmm. besides us, right? Obviously, <laughs> perfect. Um, I think that was like I was trying to make a video because I'm just like people are like keep complaining about stuff, and I'm just like, but is there any form of media that is perfect? Mm-hmm. Like I think the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm not saying it's close to perfect, but it's very, very. It's like there isn't really like a bad flaw. There, like most of the worst you can say about it is like meh, mm-hmm. which is I think the closest thing to perfect that you can get in media. Right, right. So mm-hmm. that's my take. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. What's the start? Summer movie season. Oh yeah, we're in it now. Yeah, because we got John Wick three came out. I need to see that. I think I was gonna go this weekend, but then I didn't. So oh well. Mm-hmm. But I want to see that. I have not seen the first two. That's, they're so good. I've seen bits and pieces of them. Like, I've seen scenes I saw the second one in the... The first one was, like, kind of one of, like, sleeper hits, and then mm-hmm. the second one I saw in theaters. Yeah. Um, ooh, Aladdin just came out. Anybody care? I don't care at all. Not There's really. people who are like, oh, I like this. I'm like, you don't actually like it. You just are starved for your childhood years. What if they did? What if they did like it? What if it's actually a good movie? They have bad taste in movies. Um, no, that's just, I have a different opinion than them. You also didn't see the movie. And I your opinion. I didn't see it. We're trying, I feel like, cause like, I was like, I might get into this cause I was trying to make a, like a thing about like, if fandoms, I was going to make a video about like, if fandoms suck mm-hmm. and put it on our channel. And like, we were kind of discussing it cause like, some stuff might have happened in the world, in media that made me upset. Yeah. People suck. People do suck. People just like suck. There might have been like a show that ended that made me feel a lot mm. that we can't talk about really. No, because I have not seen it. You have not seen it, but I, I know I know a lot about it because people like it's so funny. That was a show that like there are some shows that or like some things that people are like really good with spoilers. They're like co- there's like this collective idea that like not everybody watches it as soon as it airs so like wait a while before you start talking about spoilers uh game of thrones is one of my shows where yeah like, we're not game of thrones yeah game of thrones is one of those shows where like as soon as it happened like everybody was talking about it and yeah it's like, like i feel like like that's gonna be a show to like watch with us because like i've seen i watched like, literally watch the show from like beginning to end mm-hmm. for the most part like watching it like firsthand or like yeah. an hour later just depending on where i was right and like but i feel like you were definitely spoiled like a fair amount of stuff but like it's, so much but i feel like it's gonna be interesting like when you actually see it and like get the yeah. context of everything right it's more gonna be like it's gonna be more about the journey and then the destination as far as whenever we watch that show um because like i know so much of what happens and i know like what people like about this what people don't like about that um but i'm kind of looking forward to like forming my own opinions and like having that foregone conclusion where yeah. okay, i know this is like how it ends because people like literally dump shit up and they don't even tag their spoilers nobody tag their spoilers and like my twitter feed is just like blown up and I'm like, really? I'm like, not that I really care. Um, yeah. But like, it's, it was still like, really? I mean, like, at least with Avengers, like, people, like, there's, like, a collective, like, do you not talk about spoilers for the first couple weeks? Which is just, like, common courtesy, I feel like. And yeah, I agree. Any- yeah, but, and, like, with me, I'm like, like, I feel like the second we said that, and, like, people are, like, automatically, people going down in the comments and being like, oh, because, like, a, basically, like, I've seen the entire show, I know what happens. Like, people are like, oh, Darren, like, the finale of the show, blah, blah, blah. And like, because I, I was saying to you, like, I was just getting so upset and like depressed, right. like that kind of thing. And I'm just gonna say this right now: the TV show did not cause this; the internet did. Oh, oh my God, Man. I am, I am salty. Ooh. I'm so salty about all of that. Because <laughs> I was talking about like how we might get my personal. Like I was just like going through like this bit of like a depressive episode for a little bit. Yeah, and like that was kind of causing because like everybody. Ha- I don't know. Like I don't think I've ever. I never watched a show where like that actually happened. Mm-hmm. I knew what happened with Lost, but I never watched Lost. Like people were like so divisive about that, right. and like even nowadays, like it's still kind of like it's good or isn't it? Mm-hmm. I still don't watch the show though. That's the question. Yeah, and like I'll say this: like don't spoil this for the ending because again, I mean, Kaylee might actually know, but like. Billy, like, don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Because, like, I know what happened. And I do, like, here's the thing. And I think I've kind of, I think I know what maybe, like, the perfect fan of something mm-hmm. is. Yeah. Which is, like, here, so here are my thoughts on the finale game thoughts. I like all the story arcs. I like where it ended. I think for the most part it makes sense. But yes, there are some stuff that they didn't, like, go back to and talk about. But those stuff technically didn't really matter. So I don't care that they didn't go back to it. You have thoughts? <laughs> yes. But are there problems with... Like, some stuff that I don't really feel like I can go into right now because, yeah. you know? Yes. Mm-hmm. I can acknowledge that. 
do I think there could have been better? Yes, but then I also have like this theory of if they did it this certain way that people are saying, mm-hmm. wouldn't we still be complaining about something else? Absolutely. I don't even have to touch, see the show to know that. Exactly. Like people saying like, oh, it should have been like this. And I'm like, but then wouldn't we have this to complain about? Because like people are saying like something and I'm just like, but we've been like memeing that for mm-hmm. for oh, for six years, guys. Mm-hmm. Right. I was very salty. I'm surprised I did not curse at all, but I was going to. Good job. I'm proud of you. I had a feeling like I was going to. And I'm not even much of a curse. I mean, like, I'm more of like a curse in conversation. Right. Like, I don't feel, I don't curse for the sake of it. I'm just like, if it comes up in conversation, but like, mm-hmm. but then I read an article saying like Game of Thrones proves that fandoms suck. And I'm just like, I think that's a mixed bag. That right. was like, a, I'm trying to, ma- I'm working on a video of it. I think I'm still definitely going to make it. Mm-hmm. But fandoms are mixed bag. Cause like, you're going to have people who can like, who just wanted to pick apart every right. little thing mm-hmm. and then they hate it. Yeah. And then, like, they make, they write, like, articles about it and you're just like, I was feeling bad because I'm like, oh my God, am I a bad person for actually liking something? Right. And then I went to YouTube comments, mm-hmm. which is definitely, which is a, a bottom, for the most. A cesspool. A cesspool. A bottom. Except our comments. Yeah, most of our comments are actually pretty chill. Yeah, we like you guys. Yeah. But I feel like, well, maybe if we get bigger, it's going to get worse. That's just how it works. But, like, it's kind of just like a cesspool. It's a bottomless pit of cesspool and sness. Mm-hmm. But I did actually find some niceness. Nice. Even And even on Twitter, I found some niceness. It's absolutely. Because, like, like, literally it was just kind of like, oh, I'm not alone. Like, some people are liking what happens. And they're feeling bad. And they feel bad that, like, they actually like it because it makes them feel like they're monsters. Oh. And mm-hmm. we should not make people feel that way, guys. Right. Right. That is just rude. And you should like what you like. And you, I just think, like, if you want to be a fan, you shouldn't, like... If something didn't go your way, because that's a kind of, like, one thing I'm kind of noticing with, like, some complaints mm-hmm. is just... And, like, you could say, like, oh, this didn't make sense to me. And I could be like, well, maybe go back and, like, see if it actually does. Or, like, you could say this doesn't make sense. I'd be like, all right, fair enough. Mm-hmm. But the thing, the one complaint people are noticing is, like, are you just upset because it didn't go the way you thought it was going to go? Mm-hmm. Like, me, I'm kind of person like, oh, it didn't go... Like, Endgame didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. Fine. Right. That That wasn't... A bad thing necessarily no and yeah. sometimes like if it like some stuff can come out of nowhere but like i don't know mm-hmm. i might right. like i was saying for a while like that's gonna be my next show and then even before the season eight started mm-hmm. i was like iffy on that because i'm like maybe i need a break right so i like picked another show and then i was like all right i'm gonna do this show and then caitlin's gonna do her next show mm-hmm. and then we're gonna do game of thrones but now i'm kind of like i might put like a couple shows in between uh-huh. yeah just because like like the internet kind of ruined it for me for a bit and i need a break mm-hmm Right. Which sucks is I really like I love this show. Like I think I was saying I don't know I think I said this to I might even said it on the YouTube comment saying like this show and like Marvel stuff and then Doctor Who were kind of like those were my three kind of gateways into the nerd culture. Right. So I don't want to feel ashamed <coughs> that maybe one of them didn't go the way I thought it was gonna go. Right. Mm-hmm. And even if somebody doesn't like it and like I'm kind of working on myself and being like just because like somebody disagrees with me doesn't mean I'm wrong. Right. Which is not healthy. Mm-hmm. So Right. I had thoughts. <sighs> Breathe. I got that out. I still want to make a video about like fandoms up, but that's like a hard thing to do. It's a tricky topic. It's like a weird slippery slope into just like a bunch of stuff you don't want to talk about. It's weird. Or um, like, well, I, th- I sent you like a bunch of like word vomit about this and like saying like, hey, like what if something happens like a movie or TV show that somebody finds offensive? Because mm-hmm. this is actually from a different episode of Game of Thrones where like something came up mm-hmm. and people were finding it offensive. But then... Other people who might have experienced something similar didn't find it offensive, and they actually really liked that message and, like, agreed with it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, are they wrong? Right. No. Are they, like, they can't be, like, are they wrong because they felt that way? You can't really be wrong about emotions. Mm Mm-hmm. Right. (laughs) Yeah. That's tricky. It's hard for me to engage with that. Um, But no. So, like, yeah, it's no, it's tricky. There's a lot of, it's not really ever rarely anything is black and white like that so it's like especially with like fandom culture and fandom fandoming um it's like you know there's some stuff where it's like okay you're just like it's like object there's like very few stuff that's objectively bad in fandom um but i think there's the notion of con of a uh, fandom toxicity which is i mean i'm on tumblr so like i get it <laughs> I left that a long time ago. Yeah, you're better for it. Um, So, like, I understand kind of, like, you know, the good and the bad and the ugly of that. So, like, it's, like, a tricky topic to kind of properly address and address in a, you know, in a calm, cool, collective manner. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. 
I think I also realized it's like I think few stuff offends me, and I don't know why. It might mm. just be because like I maybe I'm dealing with my own shit, but like yeah. I feel like very few stuff actually offends me. I don't know. If you know, that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just like not. A, I think it's also like maybe like I see it a different way than other people. Right. Right. Like I just don't get offended by less stuff. I realize like some stuff like I do get offended by is just kind of like. If there's, like, a point in a television show where, like, a character should have known better by that point, right. then I get upset. Or, like, mm-hmm. if this is, like, a trope I don't like. But for the most part, like, we're talking about, like, the one episode of Grand Files that I didn't like. Just because, like, there was stuff in there mm-hmm. that I don't like. But it right. wasn't necessarily triggered. I'm just like, I just don't like this. Mm-hmm. I guess, I don't know, like, what actually triggers me. And trigger's not even a good word. <laughs> like, a, I feel like offense a better word mm-hmm. than trigger. Yeah. Interesting. Because that's just me. Mm-hmm. I would say, do you have thoughts on this? But, like, I don't know if you want to talk much. Um, about this specifically, I don't know. This is how we're talking in, like, very vagues here. We're not talking about, like, specific things. So it's, like, we're talking about, like, very, um, we're painting this in very broad strokes. Well, I was kind of thinking of, like, with going back to Endgame with, like, Black Widow and even, like, Gamora, like, with that, like, with the moment where they died and people calling oh, it yeah. fridging. And to me, they didn't feel that way. But then I was thinking of, like, a moment where it felt icky to me and nobody really brought it up that much was Deadpool 2. That kind of felt worse to me than the other two. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So like, and that that because that felt more pointless than the other two. Right. So that's that was something I was thinking about, oh. and like that wasn't really brought up that much. Yeah. So that and that, but that felt more, eh, to me. I wasn't like super offended, but I was kind of like that felt weird. Right. Than the other than like anything in the Avengers stuff. Yeah. So there's one thing. Right. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Um. Ooh, the fridging is like a whole thing. We do a whole video on fridging. Um, cause like, it's annoying. Um, I don't have any like specific thoughts about purging right now. I think I stated a lot of my case when we did our end game review. So like, we'll yeah. watch that. Um, but like, yeah, that's an, that's an interesting thought. Um, but like, yeah, as far as like, I don't know, like, it's so weird to use the word offend because like, I feel like it's like an incendiary word and like people are like, Oh, that offends you. And it's like, you can be offended by stuff. Like that's nobody's stopping you from like, like that's not like a bad thing necessarily. Like people like have different experiences and people like see things different ways. Um, and so like to say like, you shouldn't be offended by anything. I think that is, um, playing off of expecting people to have no self worth in a sense, not expecting people to have zero self worth, but there's some things where it's like, um, Oh man, I want to bring up a real life situation. Um, but this involves like people that i don't want to talk about um this involves like work stuff but like for example if somebody um like at work makes like a very inappropriate comment at you um and like you're offended some people may say that like oh that person was just joking like you shouldn't be like so offended Mm -hmm. Uh, but then there's like another way to look at that but if somebody makes like a really inappropriate comment at you and then you go um like oh it's fine they were just kidding they're like and if it's like you know if it's something serious then like you know if you're just like laughing off and just not being offended by it like that's actually downplaying your own personal self-worth yeah um so it's like there's certain things in how do we translate that to media as far as like seeing this and like like how does that word like offend kind of translate over um we kind of have to like shift our definition or then shift our our general perception of what what it means by that i mean there's some things that people are going to be like look at and like draw from their own personal experience to be like this is really upsetting to me um you know whether it's it's like fridging or you know barrier gaze or like stuff like that um so like i don't know people have a right to like see something in media and be like i don't think you know this isn't how that should be handled yeah, um so, yeah yeah so like, but, like it's, it's a very it's a weird kind of thing because i think the word offend has become very like very mocking in the sense that where if you if you're like oh are you offended oh are you triggered um but like there's general cases where somebody sh- like sh- can and should be like hey as somebody who has experienced xyz like this is not okay by me and we sh- it's okay it's not a dirty word to say like somebody's offended but like we do have to kind of shift our per- like our our societal kind of expectation or or our perception of what that is and what that means yeah that any sense <laughs> oh no it did because i'm thinking like if something happens in a movie and like a bunch people say like that's offensive like people don't actually that's not an actual thing that people go through but then somebody could pop up and be like but that's what i felt and right. something else could pop up so it's like everybody everybody's so different and everybody's right. experiences are different mm-hmm. everyone has different experience with things everyone can look at one situation and view it in two different ways most of the time that doesn't necessarily make um you know one side more wrong than the other um i mean and maybe there's cases that we, when we can always make exceptions um for one thing or another but in general if we assume that all parties are of you know stable mind <laughs> stable mind of the subject matter is you know of a you know relevant you know subjectivity um 
So, yeah, everyone can view things in a different way, and that's what makes it interesting. And I'm dying now. Excuse me. You are dying. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're good. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that might have been everything I want to say in my video, so I don't know if I need to make that video anymore. <laughs> Yeah, you, could, you could probably make a like a longer video with like and like do like source stuff and like review like specific cases and stuff um i think that it would be a good video to like really do like dig deep and do a lot of research for as far as like fandom and, and like specific fandoms and specific fandom like moments um that people reacted to so yeah i think like right now like i said i was I, like the thing of like when you go through the like, kind of like a depressive thing you're it's hard to get motivated to do the stuff you want to do because i keep saying right. like all the stuff i'm going to do mm-hmm. and like it's kind of hard to get into motivation like yeah. i'm kind of, but like i think i'm feeling better now I'm kind of trying to like, yeah. you know, work on that and like, right. you know, because 